The Hemingses were a group of mixed race enslaved people who lived at Monticello for almost 50 years here atop the mountain. Um, the mat matriarch of the family was Elizabeth Hemings, who was born in 1735 and had 12 children, we believe, 12 known children. Six of those children she had by John Wales, who was Thomas Jefferson's father-in-law, meaning six of her children were the half-siblings to Jefferson's wife. And when Jefferson married Martha Wales, he moved to Monticello, they brought some of the Hemingses with them, but most of the family came to the mountain in 1774 and 1775 upon John Wales' death when Martha Wales Jefferson inherits the land and slaves from her father. So they start out on the mountain here as really the sort of house servants to Jefferson, people who are attending Martha Jefferson and the young males, particularly Robert Hemings, becomes a manservant to Jefferson when he's 12 years old. So these are people who are sort of in Jefferson's intimate circle, the intimate family circle. Um, later on, the family, members of the family become some of the most trusted and favored artisans at Monticello, Joseph Fawcett, the blacksmith, and John Hemings, uh, the carpenter and joiner. So they're people who occupy a special position at Monticello um, in terms of the kinds of work they do, the kinds of activities they perform, and the amount of autonomy that they're given uh, relative to some other members of the enslaved community. Um, they, how they saw themselves, they seem to see themselves as a caste apart, in a way, because they're mixed race, and also because of their connection to Jefferson's family and the privileges that he gave them. Because of that, they apparently saw themselves as different from other enslaved people.